my favorite of all the pieces. How cute is she? Welcome back to my channel, guys. So as promised, I have to my right all of my Saint Laurent purchases. And I promised for those of you who watched the vlog of my trip to the outlets in Florence where I got the greatest items ever, that vlog is actually gonna be linked above so that if you guys didn't watch, you know, me finding and sourcing these products and how much I paid for these products, that's all in there. And now I'm gonna show you what I bought, why I bought it and how I'm gonna style it. That's going to be the best part. So I'm gonna first show you what I got and then I'm gonna style them in the way that I think I'm gonna wear them. And then you guys can sound off if you like, if you like them or not. Hopefully you like them. Okay, so the very first piece is a, by the way, everything that I bought is black and white. Why? Because my entire closet has turned into black and white. I just, I am not embracing color this year at all, um, except for red and burgundy. I have pops of red and burgundy, and I don't know, but that's just what I'm feeling. I did um, buy a red dress the other day, so just red is the color for now. And let me show you, my first item is a pair of black pants. Okay, and you cannot imagine how well these fit. I feel like if you buy a pair of pants like this, I'm gonna show you the um, fabric as well. Like I'm gonna bring it close to the camera. This is the close up. I would say this is wool gabardine. Um, What's, but it's not really heavy. It's like a nice crepe feeling. So the reason I bought these pants is because these will never, ever go out of style. By the way, I'm wearing this dress um, from La Ligne because we were filming earlier today. So this is not Saint Laurent. This is just uh, another dress that I'll link if you guys are interested. But uh, back to my black theme, these are black pants. And I'm gonna show these on. And I will also share the style number in the video so that you guys can do a search and find them. Because they do bring a lot of these products back. And by the way, you could also even, um, hopefully I can find the style number. Uh, you can also just do a search on the internet and so forth. Anyway, they're lined, they're half lined. And then right about here, they're not lined anymore because we don't need the lining there, so that's nice. So that's one piece. And I don't know if you saw this because a lot of these pieces I found at the end. So I was buying, you know, looking at a bunch of stuff and then she came out with this rack of must haves. And that's where these puppies came out. So as you guys know, I've been dying to get a striped uh, wool blazer, a pinstripe that was, I love men's suiting and men's clothing so much on a woman. And it's the same with my design. I feel like my, my designs are generally very male, uh, even though I love pink. But by the way, Thomas Pink is a very famous shirt maker in London and they make a lot of pink. So pink doesn't mean girl, by the way. So I love male, I love clean, you know, Tom Ford, Saint Laurent, just really nice quality, good stuff. So this jacket, they had to have the one prerequisite that I had is that I don't care what you bring me, but make sure it's got the shoulder because they had the non-shoulder jackets, but I really wanted a protruding shoulder. I love the 80s look in clothing. So I'm gonna show this to you guys and how I'm planning on styling it, which I think is gonna be very fun. Probably my absolute favorite piece of the entire haul, well, I have two favorite pieces, is this one. I cannot tell you how obsessed I am with this dress. It is so good and it's got a corset inside. I mean, that's a, what you're paying for. You are paying for the beauty of the craftsmanship of Saint Laurent. I mean, look at this corset. Can you guys see this? So it's just beautifully lined. It's got a corset within the dress. I'm gonna show this on because you cannot tell what that dress looks like until it's on. And that is absolutely a forever dress and I can't wait to wear it. So now, this is the pantsuit that everybody was talking about. 
You guys saw me wear it in the video. I had to have it. I was not gonna leave without the pantsuit. The buttons are art. I mean, these are artwork. It's literally artwork. So here it is. These are the buttons. How chic are the buttons? So this is to die for. I can't wait to show you that. Um, and guess what? Another black piece, yes. But again, these are forever pieces. This is um, that skirt. It's a really long skirt. It basically comes to your rib cage, and that's the look of it, which is going to look great with so many different things. The baby, the baby bolero. She's really cute. I had to have her. And last but not least, another black blazer. Why? Because this will never go out of style. This is this was Devin's favorite, to be honest. He's like, you cannot leave without this jacket. You have to have this jacket. So. Um, this is a, you know, this is a definite winter jacket. It's thick, it's heavy. So let me show you how I'm gonna style these. The jumpsuit. Literally, can we, can we even handle the cut of this suit? It has a zipper here, a button here, and that's it. And it fits me like a glove. Can you guys see this? I decided to pair it with the baby Kelly. And then the shoes I'm wearing are, these are my Alexander McQueen's, which have these like crazy spikes on them. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing to do here. You're set. How many times could I wear this? A hundred thousand times. As long as I stay the same size in the next however many years, I can wear this forever. Do we love the shoulders? And then I thought, wouldn't it be fun if, you know, maybe we did something a little more, uh, you know, with a little bit of contrast, maybe a burgundy purse to give it a little more artsy, architectural. To me, the reason why we're even having this fashion conversation, because as you guys know, I'm an interior designer, I'm not a stylist, is because there really is a confluence. There is a complete crossover between fashion and interiors. Why? Because to me, this beautiful piece, this is a Bottega, is art and it's art and it's beauty. And I love to dress the way that I would maybe dress a home. I love black, I like simplicity, I like lines, I like good cuts. It really is between fashion, like there is blurred lines now between fashion and interiors and design because everything is just a work of art. To me, this is an absolute work of art. I hope you guys like it. All right. So now I'm gonna go try on, but I wanna know which way should I go? Kelly or Bottega? Burgundy or black? Here is the Bolero jacket. Look how cute she is. Can we see, can we just please observe her perfection? The cut? Now, I styled this with these crazy pants. I know a lot of you guys don't like these pants. I love them. These are the Elias, and I'm wearing the little Elia kitten heels. And I wore the YSL belt, which is sort of masculine. It's folk rock, but I love how masculine the belt is and how masculine the jacket is. And you know, we've got the shoulders. So, so you don't have to wear them with jeans like this. You don't have to wear them with balloon jeans. You can just wear them with straight jeans. And this would be very chic with like a long midi skirt. It's the cut guys, it's the cut. I have six other black short jackets that don't look anywhere near as good as this. So my new thing is what I'm gonna be doing from here onward, and I suggest you guys do too, if you can, is save up for these really good, instead of buying seven black blazers over a course of I don't know how many years, um, get the black blazer. Like this, I can, wear, I can wear over and over again. There's no need for me to ever buy a short black jacket. Do we agree? Like there's no need, because I've got this. And it'll always be a Saint Laurent. It'll always be in fashion, in my opinion. It'll always be chic. So anyway, this is how I styled it. I thought this would be cute with this Bottega, because I'm doing more of a casual look with this jacket. But you can absolutely dress this blazer up. And um, you can wear, for example, a sequin. Imagine a long midi sequin skirt. That would be very cute with this jacket. And you can it can be an evening outfit. So endless possibilities. This is how I style it for you guys. And I'll be back. Okay, here's a second look I did with the same blazer. 
Now, this, these are culottes. These are, uh, these culottes are Saint Laurent and they happen to be very on trend right now. I um, bought these last year. I didn't buy it on the trip to Italy. For the winter, this is gonna be a really great way to wear this jacket. So you can wear it with pants or these culottes. These are like an army green. They're just gorgeous. I'm obsessed with these pants. Again, a beautiful wool. Can you see the fabric? A beautiful wool fabric. I'm wearing the same men's style Saint Laurent. This I think is also current. I'll link whatever I can. And the short jacket, and then I'm wearing boots. These are um, Paris, Texas, and they just look great. To finish it off, I grabbed my Celine purse because that's the look I'm going for, this modern, minimal, clean look. Not too much going on. A little square gold here, a little bit of gold here. And I love it, I love it. I'm so glad I got this jacket. I wasn't sure how I was gonna style it, but I've already have, I already have like seven looks in my mind. You could even do, like I said, a midi skirt. This would look great with a long midi skirt. So let me know if you guys like the short jacket more with pants, meaning more with the jeans, or if you like them with the culottes. And now I'm gonna go try on the next outfit. This was the simpler of the two blazers, and I decided to pair it with these wide cream pants to make it a little bit more dressy. And my clutch, my Hermes clutch, because I thought this would be a really good sort of evening dinner, um, event, book signing kind of outfit. It could even be wedding. I like wearing pants to wedding, especially when they're this fancy. These pants are all to Zara and they fit really well. I love the little detail of it. And my shoes are actually also Saint Laurent, just this season, so they're probably still around. They have a really nice heel to them. I'll show you guys. That's what I love about these shoes is the shape of the heel. Just really simple and straight. And again, modern, that's the theme. Okay, so my favorite combination of all time is black and white. I just love black and white. My house is black and white. Hence, again, this um, concept of really blending in what you love into not only your personal style, but also into your home. And you want everything to sort of be cohesive. So anyway, this is the jacket. This is the jacket that Devin's like, you have got to. Now this jacket is big shoulders and fitted. So as you guys can see, this goes in naturally. Nothing was tailored. This is exactly how I purchased it. In fact, the tags are still on. So um, that's why I wanted to do more of a bolero pant because it's tight here. For a big jacket, like the, the second one that I bought that has the pinstripe, I, I'm gonna style it different and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with it. But when you have something that's more fitted, you can go bigger at the bottom because it shows your waist. Otherwise you could look like a big giant box and it balances sort of the palazzo with the shoulders. So I think this is a win. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know. Okay, here is the skirt I was telling you about. So chic, isn't she? She's tall, tall, tall. So when I was at the store, there was another polka dot shirt and Devin's like, get the polka dot shirt. And I said, no, I have one so similar. And this is the Joanna Ortiz. I've had this for a couple years, but I think it's such a great sort of kind of the same concept that Saint Laurent had, but you know, my version, which is a Joanna Ortiz. And I decided to bring a little pop of white, um, even though this is more of a off white, but again, I could even do a clutch, although I do like the silhouette. So what I love about the skirt is the silhouette of it. It's like when you stand, it just looks so pretty because it's elongating. So um, I'm 5'8", and this makes me look like I'm like six feet, I think. All around great skirt. I think this is more of a formal function skirt. I don't think I'd wear this to the supermarket or to lunch. I would wear this to an evening, uh, a, a, you know, more of a high sort of cocktail party. Now I still have to get these tailored. I don't know who's buying Saint Laurent who is 6'3", but you know, a lot of them are untailored. Like the pants don't even have a cuff because they let you do the, your own tailoring. These are the pants. I thought I would do something fun and wear one of those belt bags that so many of us think that's such a good idea. And then we buy them, at least I did, and then uh, forget about them. So. This is, I think, a really 
great look. They are perfection. They are so long. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I really have to get these tailored. But if you were to see my shoes, I wear the same Saint Laurent pointy because I think that would be the perfect shoe for these pants if you could see my shoes. And then I have this little cute Celine belt. But what I wanted to point out about these pants as to why it is that you want to go above and beyond and buy one, at least one really good pair of black pants. The belt loops come in two sizes. So it has the little one and it has the big one. So if you want to change the look of this um, outfit, it's really simple. You can use the bigger loop, which is right here, for a thicker belt, or you could use the little loop, which I did for the little belt. So that's just genius. It's just that extra touch that gives you more ability, mobility, mobility. It gives you more agility, <laughs> that's the word, and to be able to style your outfit. So I like this. I like this. I actually like this look. My shirt is from Zara, but I want to say it's at least two years old. So unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to find it, but I think the shirt works well with it. It feels very Saint Laurent-esque. I like my shirts to have, you know, to be a little bit more open. So um, if you want to do the lower look, which a lot of, you know, these 70s, by the way, the 70s are back in home and in fashion. And if you want to do that and not expose anything, then you would just wear a little bit of double stick tape so that you could get that 70s look, you know, which is like the really low cut without, you know, anybody seeing anything because you want to be careful about that. And then just put some double sided tape, right? And then you get that 70s vibe and it just looks great. Here is the blazer. I paired it with this very cute skirt that I got from Frankie Shop and I decided to grab my Andiamo clutch. So this is the idea. This jacket to me is perfection. I love that it's oversized. It makes, it's very manly, which I love. It's like the men's blazer. Um, by the way, you can also grab your husband's blazers. I've had girlfriends do that and it looks smashing. So go in his closet, grab his best blazer and wear it. So underneath I have a bustier because I wanted to show you guys how you can make this more elevated, certainly for the holidays that are coming up. And this bustier I actually got from Amazon. I'll link it because I think it's really a great piece to have. You don't have to wear a bra because it's literally a bustier. And it's great for underneath things. I don't know if I'd wear it alone by itself. That's just me, but you could. And, um, but great for underneath things is super easy. It's like essentially a bra, but it's a bustier. And this skirt is very cute. So this blazer can be worn fully dressed up. And then I'm gonna show you now a casual version to show you how versatile this jacket is. So versatile. And if you have something like it, guys, you don't have to go out and buy the same exact sound of want. I mean, if you can, fantastic, that'd be amazing. But I am certain you can find things that are very, very similar and then style them this way if you like the look. Here's a blazer with something totally cash. I like these jeans because they're straight leg and they're short so that I could wear flats with them. I'm wearing um, my Chanel Mary Janes, but you could wear Mary Janes, you could wear ballet flats, you can wear loafers even. And I just realized that I don't have a pair of black loafers. Is that possible, guys? Do I need a pair of black loafers? Um, and you can grab any bag. You know, I just grabbed this one. You can do pops of color. Uh, burgundy would be fun with this look as well. And as you can see, the jacket just looks great. And this is a really easy around town outfit. Running errands forever and ever. This, I was wearing this exact outfit, guys, in the 90s, exact. The jeans were high-waisted, the jacket had big shoulders. You know, there were different pair of jeans, it was a different pair of shoes, but it was this look. And this is a forever look. So now I'm gonna put on my favorite of all the pieces, the white dress so that you guys can see how good that looks, hopefully. Hopefully you agree that it looks good. And uh, I'll be right back. Here is the white dress. How cute is she, right? Hopefully you like. So um, I'm not wearing Spanx and all that stuff, but uh, it is, she's triple lined. She's got a bustier. I don't even think I, yeah, I would definitely wear Spanx just to smooth things out a little bit, but you get the idea. This is the 
perfect length, I think. It's like a midi, a true midi. And you probably have to be very small chested to wear this dress because it's very tight, which I like because typically all dresses are very loose on me up here. So this is the first dress that I will not have to alter. And I don't even have to alter the length or anything. This is ready to roll. Anyway, this is the dress. I hope you guys approve. One last thing I'm gonna share with you are the shoes that I bought, which I forgot to share with you. Let me grab those. I also wanted to show you what this would look like if you were to wear matching sunglasses. I'm really into wearing white on white on white on white. I think it's gonna be a very big trend, but even if it weren't, I think it looks great. These are Balenciaga and they're like cute little cat eyes. So that is essentially, you know, summer in, the, in Europe tends to end at eight or nine o'clock at night. So I found myself walking around at dinner time with shades. So I just, I'm always careful about protecting my eyes as I am my face. By the way, it is important to protect your eyes. A lot of people don't know that. You need UV protection to have longevity because eventually, who knows what can happen to your eyes. The, this has been proven. So anyhow, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul with me. I guess you could call it a haul. This is called the outlet haul. Very different than I've ever done. I've never really done a haul, let alone an outlet haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more outfit suggestions, ideas, more outlets, guys, I'm ready to go to any outlet. There are some, by the way, on the way to Palm Springs, and there's a Saint Laurent there. So if you guys want to see more outlet shopping and styling, let me know. See you next time.